Uh, excuse my appearance. We up in Ross doing a little back to school shopping. It's Friday. So we just left out of the shoe store. We got try a couple of pairs of shoes. Now we can try to find him some clothes. These are super cute. We're gonna try to find him some clothes. We may have to come back out tomorrow because it's it's late. But we're gonna see what we can find. Yeah, we go from there. Y'all know Ross sometimes hit a miss. Oh, can we get a laundry basket while we're in here? If I can find the one I like. He's got with his shoes. Oh, with shoes? She got black. What you saying about that? The shoes are black and camouflaged. That's what I'm saying. You saying to go with his shoes? Yeah. Yeah. But don't them other shoes got red in it, right? Or am I thinking wrong? It was like red, orange, white. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you know, Ross is hit a miss, Chai. We gotta check that other side. You like those? Seven dollars. But what size is that? Just say for two. Is it? Steve's jeans. <laughs> they look like something to real or work. Steve's jeans. I like this. More Steve's jeans. Yes. Those are something. nicer. I like the dark wash better. Oh, but this ain't his size. The little boy. The next day we are in target day two of trying to get trey some back to school items um uh, really just in here for some pjs and socks because i think we got mostly what we needed yesterday at ross oh look they got plenty of pjs they got a lot hopefully they got trey size i think they do i think i'm gonna get him five t so he can wear it for a while. But you know PJs be running small. What you think? Sure. These are character of... Uh, oh, here got a regular. Give me some regular PJs because they cheaper. See, these cheap. Like this. Like this. That's cheap. <laughs> We're back at home. As you can see, uh, I am, y'all, yeah. let me tell you how it is right now in the state of Texas, okay? It is 110 degrees, okay? I don't know. 
I just don't even, I don't remember it being this hot when I was a kid. It's just, it's at this point, it's just unbearable to be outside. <clears throat> and we've been gone since like 12-ish. And it's, I can't see, I just took my glasses off. It's 5 o'clock now, so we've been here about 30 minutes because I just put up the groceries. So, y'all, I vlogged in Target a little bit. But um, when we left Target, we went across the street to H-E-B and we grocery shopped. Um, I was just focused on grocery shopping, y'all. I didn't think to uh, pull my camera. Or I, I wasn't even trying to vlog, honestly, because we had the kids with us and Frederick was getting sleepy. I told y'all, Trey, I don't even think I told y'all. Trey, he wasn't feeling good earlier. So, <clears throat> last night he went to bed fine. But he he woke up this morning. Um, he came in the kitchen where I was. And I said, Trey, did you poop? Because, you know, I was smelling something. And I looked and I turned and saw him. He had throw up all on his PJs. And I'm like, oh, my God. And <clears throat> I go in his room. His bed was covered in throw up. So, sometime between last night and this morning, he threw up, like, a lot. And so I had to clean his room up, get him cleaned up. I was using Target. I got some Pedialyte and some uh, medicine for upset stomach. <clears throat> and I gave it to him. So now he seemed like he feeling a lot better, I guess, since the medicine kicked in or whatever. But, yeah, so that's why I didn't, one of the reasons why I also didn't vlog it should be because Trey wasn't doing too good. Frederick was sleepy. He was doing him, acting silly. He wasn't even crying or nothing, but he just acted silly. But, uh, yeah. So, right now, I'm super hot. <clears throat> just put me some water in the freezer. That's why I came over here. Um, but we are officially complete with getting Trey everything he need for, like, clothes-wise. Um, and stuff like that. I'm not going to show y'all everything. Like, take everything out the bag. I'm going to just show y'all the bags. But we basically went to Ross, uh, Famous Footwear, last night. And then today we went to Target. <clears throat> and so, we got everything he needs. Let me turn the camera around. <clears throat> so, this is everything right here. So, this is what we got out of Target. Plenty of PJs. We got plenty of PJs. That's all this is. It's PJs, a couple of pair of pants, a few shirts. <clears throat> That's what we got at Target. His tennis shoes. Well, I guess I can show y'all this one since it's open. We wasn't looking for nothing um, like a certain shoe. We just wanted to get him some shoes that he can wear to school. So we picked these out. And then the bottom is like a black pair. Here, I can show y'all those. But everything else, I'm not going to pull out. And we tried them on in the store. He can feel them pretty good. Trey got some wide feet. So, look, we had to get a, basically go up to a size 11. I've been thinking he was in the 10 this whole time. Maybe now. Nah. He didn't, his foot didn't grow. But, yeah. Some little comfortable black shoes. He was so, he was so cute trying them on. He, he was sitting there stepping and walking in them, trying them out. I really like these. But those are his school shoes. And then I just happened to see these in Ross. I thought these were super, super cute. So these are more so be like his going out shoes slash church or whatever. And then more clothes from Target. And then this is his Ross bag. I think it's a couple of Ross bags. This is from Ross. Uh, That's from Ross. So that was more than one bag. I don't know. And then I bought him a cup. I actually bought him two cups. Now my baby is thriving. He's thriving, growing up in. I got to explain to y'all what I mean by that. But anyway, I bought him a cup. And I bought me some little to-go coffee cups. Look what it say, y'all. Pumpkin spice and Jesus Christ. Hey. <laughs> oh, this is the cup right here. The second cup that I bought, Trey. This one right here. So, let me explain to y'all what I mean about my baby growing up. Okay, so, he is finally drinking out of a straw. Yes, I know. Three years old, he finally drinking out of a straw. Basically, Trey, y'all know he's a picky eater, but he's also very particular about his cups. He transitioned from that sippy cup to uh, one of these type cups, 
with the rubber spout. He did that pretty good. He transitioned pretty good with that. But let me tell you, for the last two years, not this particular cup with the straw, but it, it looked it just like this, but it had a rubber spout. For the last two years, Trey has been stuck on this particular cup. He would not take any other cup. Let me, but I say we went through so many cups to get this boy to to switch. We got we bought him that. He didn't want it. That didn't want it. Bought him these. He didn't want it. We got like this. He didn't want that. And then uh, I bought him this one. I bought him this one. Which is soft, but I guess for him, not enough. He didn't want it. That's basically his thing. He wants soft spouts or whatever. And so, when he was in daycare, they was like, hey, you try to open cup? So, I was like, no. So, I tried these. This one, didn't want it. Tried this one, same thing. Didn't want it. Then, nothing. And it's not even all of them. I gave a couple of, them, couple of cups away to my nephew that uh he wouldn't take my mama bought him these right here he wouldn't take these he wouldn't take nothing but that cup right there it basically it basically had um uh, like a soft it wasn't this big but it was soft like this okay and he would only drink out of that he wouldn't even drink out of the straw two years now y'all two years and so, probably a couple weeks ago, I said, man, I am sick and tired of this cup. The reason why was because, one, he was getting too big for it. Number two, he was chewing on it. He would chew on it until he would basically chew a hole inside of the nipple. And we would have to basically keep buying cups. And so, um, I was like, man, I'm sick and tired of this cup because he was starting to make a mess because of how big the hose was getting. And so, um, one day... I got a clip. I'm going to just show y'all what I did, but I'm going to explain it to you. So, one day, I got tired. And I kept saying I was going to do this. I'm like, I'm going to get some, some apple cider vinegar, and I'm going to put his nipple inside of it and get him his cup. And that's exactly what I did. I put some apple cider vinegar. You finish? And, oh, so I got some apple cider vinegar and some um, hot sauce. And it wasn't nothing spice, like super, super hot. It just had a little spice to it. I got some hot sauce, it's a tad, tad bit of hot sauce, it's an apple cider vinegar, mix it up in a bowl, and I dabbed, I dabbed his, the cup, the nipple in, uh, in it. I rolled it in, the nipple in it, because, what, matter of fact, what I'm telling you, what I was doing, I hadn't gave him his cup all day. I wouldn't give him his cup, I was trying to get him off of the cup, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't give him his cup all day. And so, uh, I would try to give him other cups, but he wouldn't take it. And so, I was like, okay, well, since you're thirsty... I'm going to go ahead and give you this cup. But then I put the stuff on her. <laughs> From then on, he been drinking out of a straw. So that's, that was such a giant step for us. He did this right like the week before his birthday. That's when he did it. And I was so happy. I was really happy because I'm like, oh my God, he finally let that other cup go. So that's the backstory on that, y'all. But um, I'm just going to use the bathroom and then I'm just to eat something because I'm tired and I'm hot. But I just wanted to give y'all a little backstory on Trey. Let y'all know my baby growing up. And we taking it one day at a time. I finally uh, was able to, I haven't told y'all this, but um, I have decided to get him tested for autism. And um, I finally was able to go ahead and book his appointment. So his appointment for his test is September 21st, I think, September 21st. And so they was like, it's a four hour test. So we're gonna be there from like one to four, uh, or one to five. One to four, one to five, whatever. And so, um, yeah, we're gonna get him tested and <clears throat> just see what's going on with him. And then, um, I told y'all he wasn't in speech therapy at the moment, but I'm about to get him back in speech therapy and as well as get him back and get him started with occupational therapy because his doctor said that would definitely help him with his eating and, you know, that sensory thing that he got. Cause he, he, 
he don't like certain feelings and stuff like that, which is why I think he's a picky eater, so. <sighs> We're just trying to get him, get him everything he needs so he can move on up. Still working on body training. But anyway, this clip is almost 10 minutes long, so I'm just to go. I probably won't vlog no more today. Um, I don't know when the next time I'm going to vlog, but yeah, I'll see me in whatever the next clip <clears throat> may be. Today is Friday, y'all. Today is what's up? Today is August 25th, Friday, August 25th. Um, so first and foremost, before I get started in the vlog, before y'all continue watching, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It's free, don't cost you nothing. Go ahead and hit subscribe, then turn on that notification bell so you can be notified every single time I post a vlog. And then make sure also by the end of this video you like it and also comment down below. Had to get that little spill out the way. But anyway, y'all. Um, like I said, today is Friday. I just love Dollar Tree, me and Frederick. Uh, it's hot outside. Even though it's almost September. Yeah, I know I live in Texas. And it's it's still hot outside. It's a good 110 degrees today. But I just wanted to hop on the camera. And start the vlog. And do a little Dollar Tree haul, y'all. Yeah, I went up in Dollar Tree to, to buy literally three things. Some car professional hand soap. What did I go in there? Car professional hand soap in a birthday card. I spent twenty nine dollars and fifty cents. Yeah. So let me show y'all what I got. So I show I, I did accomplish what I went in there for. I got these. Um one for the living room and one for tray room. I'm gonna use this one for tray room and then I'm gonna use this one for the, the living room since the dogs be going uh you know back and forth in the house. Oh let me put a pop pin in there. We're gonna pause the haul real quick. Let me tell y'all my dog Sky. I think I told y'all a few vlogs ago how she escaped and all that or broke out. Why she gone? She been gone all week. I don't think she's coming back. Like this girl has been getting out the gate on and off for like the past, I'll say like the past three weeks or so, somewhere in there. Like ever since that day we found her at the um at the animal shelter, she been she been getting out ever since then. We'll find her. Like she she really just be roaming around the back the back of our house. And normally we'll see her, we'll get her, put her up. And she won't do nothing for a few days, but then she catch us slipping, she go out the gate somehow. We, we don't know how she can get out the gate. Either she jumping over the fence or she got some type of hole out there that she's managing to get out of. So, I said I'll let to say she gone. I don't know if she come back. And I already told her why I, I'm not supposed to go looking for her because at this point you, you want to be free. So you don't want no home. <laughs> you don't want no home to mow. It is what it is. But anyway, got the car professional. And then y'all, this is what I did not go in there for. Even though I do need it, I just didn't go in there for it. I bought some cleaning supplies. I wouldn't, y'all be forgetting about, I ain't been in Dollar Tree in so long. Let me tell y'all, I ain't been in Dollar Tree so long. And I be forgetting that they sell good products in there, like cleaning products. Like, speaking Spain is a good cleaning product and um i'll try to always keep some type of anti antibacterial cleaning uh solution and uh yeah so i got this because i was getting long cleaning products anyway so that's what but made me go ahead and buy it uh but look also got they got um if y'all know dollar tree y'all know they, they sell awesome it works on everything but look they have a specific one for the bathroom they have one specific to the shower but i'm like since i get the bathroom one i'm just it, it'll work for everything so this one say fresh scent i thought it was gonna be lemon because it's yellow but it's fresh, fresh scent and then they had <clears throat> this one which was an all-purpose cleaner i love any type of all-purpose cleaner and then they also had this one uh which is for the kitchen this one is first scent, and this one is cherry blossom. So, 
all three of these are awesome so i hope they work just as good as the original does uh so that's that and so i also got a few items because um trey won it got a little older <laughs> It got a little older in there. Granted, it's probably the carpet. We probably need to just shampoo the carpet, so I'm gonna tell the way to shampoo it. But it got a slight older, nothing just out of control, unbearable type. But it's just a small odor in there that I don't like. So um, I got some um, the carpet fresheners, and then I also bought these something that he can't touch because him and his brother love touching the wall plugs. Uh, so I'm gonna stick this like somewhere in his room, maybe on the back of the door or something. Or by the window, I don't know, but I'm gonna stick these in his room uh, to see if they help. Uh, yes, yeah, the odor neutralizer, so to help to you know keep the room fresh. So I got two of those. Yeah, I don't know why this lady she put all this cleaning stuff up in her. This is a gift bag, anyway. And then oh, I, I saw these. I'm like, I ain't got a few these. But you can't read. They good for like if you just need a couple, but you don't want to get too many because at that point you cheating yourself. You might as well go pay for the whole pack, the the value pack like at Walmart. But anyway, about two of these. I'm gonna just put one in the hallway and one by the front door until I can uh, replenish like I normally would. And then I got this older band, so I'm gonna make sure I start spraying Trey's bedding with this. Um, just to keep it disinfected and stuff like that. Uh, oh, this is, you can look this. I've never used this before, but I've heard, you know, some good stuff. And I also thought, I'm like, man, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start bringing this for when we go to town and stuff. Instead of uh, trying to get lights off, might as well just get this. Travel size. And I just showed y'all this. This is a gift bag for my niece. This is why I also spent extra money up in there. I, I originally went in there for her birthday card. And I was gonna put money in it. I'ma still put money in it, but I just I was just gonna get her birthday card, put money, cause her birthday was really last week. Uh, we celebrated, but I didn't have a ch chance to go to the store and get her no, no money in the card. So I'm doing it now. But I saw this cute little. It's a gift. It's more like a gift box type thing. So I'm like, oh, this is really cute. So I got this, and what I'ma do is I just got a few things that she likes to snack on. I hope she eat all this, but I just got her candy. I know she eat these, so I got her a few things to uh, snack on. And I'ma just, uh, let me see, I'ma just throw it in the box with some gift paper and her birthday card and stuff like that. And that's all I got, y'all. Oh, and then I got these right here um garbage disposal i might start buying these all the time but it's garbage disposal um cleaner and i love anything lemon in my kitchen so i was happy they had lemon but it's uh garbage disposal cleaner so i'm definitely going to use this today um because i'm out of those little lemon balls that i normally buy but yeah that's it y'all for the haul i'm gonna go ahead and in this clip because it's almost 10.
So today is, what's today? Tuesday, oh my gosh. Today is Tuesday, Tuesday morning. It's currently 8.16. Y'all know I'm up early. Um, we are headed to a Trey's appointment. So I told y'all Trey was currently, he wasn't in speech therapy. Uh, the one he was, the one he was at, I took him out of that one. Uh, it just wasn't working out. So um, I found another one. Let me get over. I found another one. It's a little bit further from the house, but they got great reviews and everything like that. So um, I called. They called me yesterday and everything. So we made an appointment today. So today is his evaluation, and um, they're gonna give him an evaluation, you know, see everything that he needs. They offer more than just speech therapy. We're heading there now. They're doing his evaluation and we're going to go from there. They're going to let me know what uh, other therapy he needs besides speech therapy. And, oh, that's what I was saying. His doctor was recommending occupational, ther occupational therapy um, to help with certain things. Um, mostly with his sensory issue because Trey doesn't like he doesn't like certain textures and like he don't like his hands to be sticky or wet. Uh, well, I ain't gonna say wet, more so like, he don't like, just he just don't like certain stuff on his hands. Like, he loves peanut butter and jelly, but he do not like the jelly that took me on his hand. Um, like with pizza, the pizza can't be too saucy or he won't eat it. It's stuff like this, so it's more so to help with his picky eating. So that's the, issue that we want to resolve his picky eating so she says occupational therapy helps with that i don't know but um i told them the issue so they was like okay we'll just test some occupational therapy and see uh you know what we can do and they just told me to bring food that he like and food that he don't like so that's what i did this morning he has to eat breakfast so that may help them you know more, you know, see what the issue is, or you know, try to figure out, you know, what he's thinking. I guess I don't know how it works, but I'm just doing what I was told. But I am out most there, like, cut this camera off so I can make sure I get there. Um, and I miss my pet, not miss my exit or whatever. I'm almost there, I'm like five minutes away, and my his appointment is at 8 30. So We'll get there with five minutes to spare. So I'ma try I try to fly while I'm in there, but we'll see how things go. In half know. a mile. Look at the baskets. Show me the basket with three puppies. Show me the basket with three puppies. Let's do some more. We gotta stay. <laughs> Where's the basket with three puppies? Three puppies. Woof, woof. <laughs> woof, woof. Where's the basket with three puppies? <gasps> there it is. Good job. Did you keep pointing to them? You can to the last one. Okay. Um, you can put the page. Look at the crowns and paper. Show me the paper with four crowns. Kind of double tap for that one. Yeah. This one, select, <laughs> select send. We can do um, the complex sentences and see. I'm going to tell you something about these pictures. Find the picture I'm talking about. Sarah was sad because her bicycle had a flat tire and she couldn't go for a ride. Which picture shows this? She was sad because her bicycle had a flat tire and she couldn't go for a ride. He's 
month shows that she has a flat tire and